In this guide, I'll show you how to fix Roblox not launching. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well. I really do appreciate it. So Roblox may not be launching due to different circumstances, but hopefully this guide is going to basically have all of these included and it should go and fix it. So now let's go and jump into this. So as you can see, I'm now on my desktop and I'm currently on Roblox. So personally, when I try and launch a game, I go and click on it, I click play and then nothing happens. So let's go and fix this. So all you want to do is for now we can come and quit off Roblox or just minimize it. I'll quit off it just to make it easier. Then all you want to do is come to your search bar down here. As you can see it says type here to search, click here. All you want to do is type uninstall. Then you're going to have this here saying add or remove programs, click here. And it's going to take a minute for this to load. So I'll just make it so you can see this. And then all you want to do is search for Roblox. Now do keep watching as there's some very, very important steps you still need to follow. Then you need to go and locate Roblox player. You can ignore Roblox studio and you want to go and simply go and click uninstall here. And then you go and click uninstall again. And you may go and get this pop up here saying Roblox has been uninstalled. You may have to do some sort of window security pop up. Um, but in this guide, I didn't. Now for this next part, even though we did uninstall Roblox, there may be some files left over. So what we need to do is fully remove those and let's go and get into this. So you need to come back down to the search icon down here. And then all you need to do is type in three letters, C, M, D, like so. And it's going to look at something like run command. So then click here and then we need to go and type something in. Now I'm going to zoom in on this because it is quite small. So what you want to type in is CD and then you need to do a backward slash and then you want to go and type in users. Then you need to do another backward slash. Then you need to go and type in your profile name for Windows. So mine is personally just Rob like that. And then you have to go and press enter like so. Then the next step is doing CD and then doing app data slash local and then go and hit enter then the next thing you want to type in is r m d i r just like so and then do slash s and then go and type roblox just like so and then go and press enter and then you've got this option here saying roblox are you sure you want to go and press y for yes if you're sure you want to do it then go and press enter and it's going to take a minute you just got to wait then once you can start typing again and this appears then you're all finished and we can go and quit off this and then we want to go back to the roblox website so here we are and then all we want to do is go and launch a game again so i'm going to go and launch speedrun 4 so i'm going to click here and then go and click on the play button just like this and as you can see it's going to say you'll need a new app then you want to wait for Chrome to go and recognize this. So as you can see, you're moments away from getting into the Roblox experience. So you need to go and click download and install Roblox. So this is essentially allowing us to fully reinstall Roblox. So it allows us to launch it. And then we've gone and got the exe down here. So you want to go and click on that. We may get a security pop up. You may not. And then just wait for this to go and finish basically and install Roblox. And this may take a few minutes. And then it's going to go and start configuring Roblox. And as you can see, Roblox is successfully installed. Press OK. And then all you want to do is go and wait a minute and then we can go and click join here. And as you can see, it's then going to go and launch Roblox. Then it'll take a minute to load for the first time and the Roblox um, icon will appear in the bottom bar. And as you can see, it's now loading us in. And it may take a few minutes for Roblox to launch on that first time, so do just consider that. But here we are in Roblox. If you did find this guide useful, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And then go and leave a like as well. And I look forward to catching you in the next tutorial video. Peace.